Hello, Chuck and friends. Welcome to Tuesday that feels like a Monday. Because <laughs> that's kind of how I'm at, where I'm at today. I'm at a Tuesday that feels like a Monday. Anybody else? Why does that always happen that way? <laughs> I totally feel like it is that way. It's just Tuesday, but it really should be Monday. But it's not. It's Tuesday, which means we're one day closer to Friday, right? Right. So I posted the Make It Monday on a Tuesday bundle in the Making Maria VIP group. So you want to check it out because I'm going to show it to you tonight because it's really cool. Hello, Nevada Nicole. Welcome to our chucking party. Chucking, chucking party. We are chucking tonight. Yes, we are. We are going to use the transfer that was highly sought after that um, is out of stock. I think it's still out of stock. I'm pretty sure it's still out of stock. And I have them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I got them. Yep, I do. So, and I put them in the Make It Monday bundle. So, which is, I know, Tuesday. I know, I do know what day it is. <laughs> but I did put it in the bundle. Um, so I do have them if somebody wants them. But I'm going to show you all the transfers that are in the bundle because it's it's... Because it's a double-sided surface that we're using this evening, we are using the box frame, the new box frame, which is framed on both sides and double-sided. I love this board. And I love this, this board is heavy. It is not, you know, that's the word I wanna use. It's, it's worth it. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. It's a nice chalk, it's a nice board. It's double-sided, framed on both sides. You can chalk on both sides. It stands all by itself, it sits all by itself. It is a nice board. And it's not expensive. It's $17.99. And it's nine by 12. Any B-size transfer fits in it. Tonight, we're gonna make, ooh, look what I got. I don't have that many of them. And the last time we did a bundle of this, it sold out like that. So I, and it's sold out on the website. I do not have very many of them, but I have a few. So this is part of the Make It Monday bundle, the Happy Halloween. We're gonna make this tonight because I have been dying. I, it was so bad last time, I sold mine. <laughs> so I wanna make it. And then, so we're gonna do this on the darker side of our little board. And then we're gonna flip our little bad boy over and we are going to do bless this day with grace and gratitude because that's what's the beauty of this frame. You can flip it around, it's double-sided. You can have general home decor on one side. You could do Thanksgiving and Halloween on each side. So you can just flip it around so you get double bang for your buck. Um, you could do, you know, general home decor. You could do Christmas. So it really gives you some very, you could do double-sided home decor and just when you're your mood changes, flip it around. So it's really, really a nice surface. So we're gonna do Bless This Day with Grace and Gratitude, which is one of the transfers. But there's more transfers that you can pick from. You can also do Eat, Drink, and Give Thanks, which we made once already. We made it, remember my little hot glued board? We've made this transfer. Super cute, I mean this is combined with some other transfers, but this is just my little hot glue board pillar you know pedestal that we made um so that is an example of something that you can make with this one the other one is pick your own pumpkin this transfer is called pumpkin patch um so this is your uh, another option i kind of went with all either halloween or thanksgiving that's those two i don't have that many of these guys i think i, I might only have one possibly two so i don't have that many of them um, we did bust your, we did the bust your, oh, I do, too. okay, and then, actually, I might not have put this one on there, there are far better things ahead than any we leave behind, and there was, there's other transfers, I guess I pulled out the wrong one, but there's more, um, eat, drink, and be scary, which is the fun one with the little potion bottle, um, for Halloween, so, there's fun ones. So I'm digressing. I need to say hello to everybody because those comments are just flying by me. Hello, Linda, Linda. Hello, Miss Carol. Hello, Nevada, Nicole. Welcome, everybody. Hey, Miss Kara. Hey, Amanda. I think I you I think you messaged me, and I need to look. 
I have one more person I need to hear back from, Amanda. Um, Lori, bonus weekends always mess me up. I know, right, Lori? They always mess me up, too. Hey, Fancy Nancy. Hey, Linda Squared. Clarissa, congratulations. Everybody, Clarissa got engaged. She's had a good, well, that was last month, but still. I haven't, I haven't talked to you since then, but congratulations, Miss Clarissa. Um, he looks like a, a fine young gentleman, and the, your ring is so pretty. I love the fact that it's a ruby. <laughs> Linda, Linda Squared already wants the pumpkin. <laughs> You're so funny. Hello, Miss Jen Flood. All right, so yes, so as I said, I don't have many of them. Oops, it's upside down. It's super cute. Oh my gosh. We're going to have some fun with this one. But I did want to just chat real quickly. I don't know if you Club Couture members saw it or not, but every month they come out with an exclusive deal for our Club Couture members. And this month's Club Couture deal is previous Club transfers so if there was a transfer out there that you weren't a member of the club and you want it you get it for half off as a club member one of my very personal favorites is out there and this was before club couture so before club couture we designers got a transfer every month it wasn't exclusive though but we got it and then we could order them um, then they changed it to the club and now it's all different but back then this is one of the trans. I mean, this this sucker's old, but it is one of my all-time favorites. I just want to chalk pretty things. I have. This is just fun. This is just so much fun. But this is one of those that's in there. So and I got enough. I got my package today, and look, it even still comes in the club couture little. This one didn't because it wasn't a club transfer, but this one, you will remember this for those of you who've been with me from the beginning. Look at that camera. I don't even care about the rest of the transfer. This little camera, we made so many fun things with. It also says, oh snap. But I know some of you um, have talked about this transfer because there are photographers in your life that you would like to make something for. So this is one of those previous Club Couture transfers that as club members, you can order. Um, and you get them for half off, which is really a good deal. If you're not a club member, though, you can't get them. You have to be a club member. And you'll see, club members, <laughs> why they did this, I don't know. But it's kind of entertaining. When you go to the website and you click on the transfers under specials and deals, probably. Could be promotions. I'll look. Um, they say they're $100. And then when you sign in as your club member, you get the normal price. But they're $14.99 normally, and they're half off. So they're a good deal. They're a really good deal. So these are the two I ordered because I love my camera. Love the camera one. And who doesn't want to chalk pretty things, right? We all want to chalk pretty things. So I did want to mention that for my fun club members so that you, I, you get the email. So I don't always cover what the deal is for the club members, but... There's a bunch of them, really good ones. Um, like lots of really good ones are out there. So will we as designers be able to purchase them for half off as well? Miss Cheryl No, you have to be a club member. I am a club member. <laughs> I'm my own club member. <laughs> it's one of those down dirty secrets, Miss Cheryl, that as designers, it's, it's legal within the company to do that. You can join the club as your own customer and then you get the specials and deals as well that club members get because you're a club member. But you pay the $19.99 a month, you get the transfer. So as a designer, you then get two transfers, one with paste, one without paste. Um, so you can join the club and take advantage of the special club deals as a designer. Um, it's kind of one of those unknown, I don't know, it's pretty known now, I guess, secrets. But yes, you can totally do that. It's the only way for, you have to be a club member. And as designers, we are not club members. So, it's one of those things. All right, so, I'm totally off track. Let's get to chalking. Okay? So we're going to make our really fun little Happy Halloween guy. We're going to put him on this beautiful side of this gorgeous box frame. I have not created, um, I've made one thing on the little tiny guys, right? We made the... Halloween phrases on the 5x5 one, which is the new size that came out. But I've not done a big one. 
I really do like this transfer. I did not like this transfer. I think I've you guys all know that already. I did not like this transfer when it first came out. Because in the catalog, sometimes you look at them in the catalog and you're like, eh, kind of busy for me. But then it arrived in person. And I was like, ooh, that's kind of cool. So I really kind of like it now. So we're going to do it very simply and very classically. For in true Halloween colors, we're going to do it in black and orange. That's it. Because we have the brown. I'm going to flip over my transfer and I'm going to write on the back of it, Happy Halloween. So I do have these, I want to say I have three of them. I don't have very many um, because they sell out right away. And I, This was not the one I would have thought was going to sell out. Clearly, because I have a lot of the other ones. <laughs> okay, I'm going to remove my backer sheet. My transfer is super sticky. Set my backer sheet aside. I should wax this. Yes, I should. But I still can't find my wax. <laughs> I don't know what my kids did with my wax. And I probably blame them, and they really had absolutely nothing to do with it in the end. Oh, and we're lagging. That's not good. I'm trying to get you straight. All right, so I'm going to put my transfer down. Ooh, now you're really goofy. I'm going to try to straighten you up. There we go. Maybe now you're straighter. Okay. So we are going to seal. It says beautiful, beautiful detail. So take your time and get all your air bubbles out, right? And seal it up. The other thing that's really kind of cool on these, this little guy is he has these like little diamond things on him. There's all kinds of unique intricacies of this transfer. It's got some just amazing, amazing detail. I was thinking maybe we should do, but I think we'll get too, it'll get too complicated if we do that. And we want to do the other side. So we're going to, we're going to chalk on both sides of this black stripe. So I'm going to open up my black velvet. I'm going to stir it up. We're going to do our edges in black velvet and we're going to do our pumpkin in orange. Originally I was going to do them backwards, but originally I was going to do this on the white side. But then when I decided to flip it over, I'm like, oh, well, we'll flip it around. Right, you know, never dull. Okay, so I just added a little spray of water to my black velvet chalk paste because I want it to be a yogurt sour cream-like consistency. I open up my chalk paste, I stir them all up, and I get them all, ooh, this guy's dry. I get them all ready. He's really dry. Before I um, put any chalk on my surface because I do not want my chalk paste too dry so I want to be all ready to go so I'm just giving this guy a drink and stirring him up so as your chalk sit and this is um, orange peel which is probably one of those colors I use the least um, other than Halloween time I don't think I touch orange um, so this guy's not I mean he's not young he's been around the block a few times he has seen his share of Halloween decor <laughs> So I'm just giving him a drink and stirring him. Okay, so we're good to go. So we're going to start with the black. I saw someone use just the corners of that transfer and put something else in the middle. Totally, Kara. Um, this is a very nice frame. So you can come totally do that. Any A-size transfer is going to fit in the middle of this. Um, and it's a really, really nice frame. Like, I think um, transfers that I think would be super pretty in the middle of this, if you did it this way, is the one, like, Pumpkin Pies Autumn Skies. This does have kind of a, to me, more of a fall um, look to it. But how beautiful is it to see a life lived with gratitude would be beautiful in this frame. And then there's the, the oh, I have them out already because we are doing a very fun project this week and it's out. The leaves are falling and autumn is calling would also be super pretty in here. I just don't think you can go wrong. But yeah, you can totally, you know, use your transfers in a unique and different way. Okay, so I am going to take a mini squeegee. I have an angle, oh, which is dirty. Dry it up, chalk paste. Okay, so it has an angled side and a flat side. My angled side is the front of my squeegee. So I'm going to dip that in my chalk paste. The back side is just the back. Now I've seen people use these in all kinds of different ways. Everybody kind of has their own way, but that's 
technically the way you're supposed to do it, but it works no matter how you do it. So I dip in my chalk paste and I'm just going to carefully squeegee across. Now this is a one-time surface. This is not a chalkboard, so it's not going to wash off. Um, so you do want to be careful. Don't go off of your surface. You know, stay true to your transfer. Um, the other side is easier if you mess up because you can paint it. I mean, and you could paint this side too. Um, obviously it's stained at the moment, but if you did mess up, you could wash off the sentiment and then paint the surface. Hey Lisa, welcome to our chucking party. Okay, so I'm going to carefully, okay, look how pretty that, so this, oh, this would be really pretty, Kara, with another transfer in the middle of it. So that can kind of give you an idea of what it looks like without the pumpkin. Now I might not do the stars if I put a different, you know, it's got these fun little accent stars. But this is really pretty just all by itself. And you could put anything in the middle. And you can put it in any direction. I'm just holding it this way to show you. So I'm going to gently place my transfer back down. And now I'm going to do this half. Again, dipping my squeegee. Loading it up with chalk paste. And carefully squeegeeing. I have black chalk paste on my finger. So you do want to be careful when you have chalk paste on your finger. Because you don't want to just go touching your surface. Um, I have had really good luck when I get stuff in places I don't want it with it washing off. But you know, sooner or later I am going to jinx that. <laughs> you know, you know that's how it works, right? And if I'm going to jinx it, usually it's live. Because that's, you know, the way we roll. If you're gonna if you're gonna mess up, do it live. So it can live in infamy, right? Oh, and then upload it to YouTube. <laughs> Oh yeah. All right, so I'm squeegeeing all my excess off, smoothing out my lines. Ooh, Lisa's doing the pumpkins right now. Well, happy chalking with us, Lisa. It's fun to chalk with people. Okay, so I am getting that black chalk paste off of my fingers. And now I'm going to carefully start it in my corner. Pick up this side. Again, this is a, oops. Oh, there isn't one. I'm like, oh, they didn't do the diamond over there. This is really pretty, the border all by itself. Okay, so now I lay it back down. Again, check my fingers. And now we're ready to do the orange. Hey, Kristen, welcome. Welcome, welcome. We're doing double-sided box frame for Halloween on one side. We're doing Thanksgiving or I would say really general home decor on the other side. Just so that you can see kind of the variety with this beautiful frame. Um, it's not an expensive surface. It's seven. Ooh, don't do that. It's $17.99. Chicken chalk on both sides and it's very heavy, which is what I, not, not like overly heavy, but you know, it's, it's solid. It's not, uh, you know inexpensively made item. We'll leave it at that. Okay, so now I'm going to do our pumpkin with our orange peel. I'm going to just again give it a quick stir. Now I'm going to use a bigger squeegee because it's a bigger surface that I'm trying to cover. And I have an angled side and a flat side. Take my angled side, I dip it right in my chalk paste. Hold my squeegee straight up and down. I'm hopefully going to cover up that black I got where I didn't want it. And I just carefully squeegee my chalk paste over the transfer smoothing out any lines I create. You know, it's like shoveling your driveway. For those of you that live in warm states, you know, you don't <laughs> you don't necessarily have that problem. But when you shovel your driveway, it always leaves a line of snow. You can tell I'm getting ready for winter, right? It's cold here in Wisconsin today. It was uh, our first cold day. We almost put a fire in the fireplace, in fact. But we got home too late to do it. I have a fire every day. Live by my fireplace. In fact, last year I burned every single piece of wood I had. And I had a lot of wood last year. So it's going to be a problem this year. Um, oops. But when you shovel your driveway, you know, you push the shovel with the snow and it leaves a line of snow next to you. Chalk does the same thing. So if you have lines, you just need to smooth them out. And I have a corner of black on my squeegee that I don't want to put back in my container. So sometimes as you go, 
you know, you got to kind of keep an eye on your squeegee because you can pick up the black from the edges around it. So again, I'm just smoothing out my lines because you will see them when you go to pull your transfer off. Okay, so I'm just a messy bussy today. Got your fist everywhere. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pull this off like so. I'm gonna stick this in my water bath so that I can wash it. I have a little bit of black chalk paste in places I didn't want black chalk paste, so I'm gonna wash it off. And it did wash right off, which is good to know that it comes right off. And voila. Okay, this is cute. I'm gonna dry it. You'll notice that right now it's shiny. Chalk paste when it dries is matte in finish, so it won't be shiny when it's dry. It's one of the ways you can tell your chalk paste is dry. I'm just pushing my transfer down into the water of my water bath. And then I take my transfer and I wash them. Get all that extra chalk paste off. Okay, this is adorable. This is really cute. Then I let them dry or I dry them off and put them back on their backer sheet and they're good to go and you can reuse them, which is one of the beautiful things about this product, is you can use them over and over and over again. So here we have our fun little Happy Halloween with his crazy little pumpkin face on the bottom. So he's still not completely dry, but look at that, the frame is so pretty. I love it when they have pretty frames like that on them. Because I'm going to flip it over, I just want to make sure it's, it's got the frame, so it shouldn't be a big deal. But y'all know me, I'm going to stick my finger in it. Just giving it one more little zhuzh. Okay. Alright, so that's one side. So this is a double-sided surface, which is one of the beauties of this particular surface. Um, this is the brown side. Now you could paint it if you don't like the brown. I like the brown, um, but if it's not your personal style, you could totally paint the inside of this any color. You could paint the whole thing, actually, not just the inside. Um, but it comes brown. One side's brown, one side's white. Hey, Melissa from Canada. Welcome to our chalking party. We are chalking our Make It Monday on a Tuesday that feels like a Monday bundle. <laughs> So if you go on the Making Maria VIP group, you've got a couple choices of transfers. We're just chalking two of the many. I think there's six choices you have of transfers. Um, so we're just doing a quick little chalk job on one side. So this is our Happy Halloween pumpkin. Absolutely love this frame. Now we're going to flip her over. And we're going to do Bless This Day with Grace and Gratitude. Now, obviously, Thanksgiving ish but really general home decor so you could totally just leave this out for thanksgiving or um make thanksgiving things with it and do a general home decor as well hey jody welcome so this is our really cute transfer we're going to make on the other side so now we're going to do the white side we did the brown side we got the brown side chalked now we're going to do the white side so I flip my transfer over, I write the name. Bless this day. Now this one, um, we're actually gonna do in colors of my home, my home in my kitchen. Um, I don't know if I'll put it in my kitchen, but those are the colors I was thinking. So we're gonna use papaya, which is kind of a more pumpkin pie, or more rusty orange, and storm. Storm looks amazing with the stain on this frame. Okay, so I'm gonna take my transfer. I'm gonna put it on here, smooth out my air. So what I'm gonna do is I've got papaya, which again is, so this is papaya and this is orange peel. Orange peel is much more your traditional bright orange, where papaya is definitely more rusty in color. And then we're gonna use Storm, which is just our simple gray. We're going to do Bless, Grace, and Gratitude in Papaya, 
and this day with in storm. So we're going to mix it up. We're going to do two colors. Now this transfer would be really pretty in just black. And y'all know how I feel about black and white. Love me some black and white, right? But I'm trying to venture out. <laughs> you know I want to do it in black. But we're going to venture out into some color. Maybe. <laughs> no, we are. We are. I've already got it. Look, I've got them open. We're venturing out into color. Even though, you know, my nature is to do it in black. Because I love black and white. Absolutely love black and white. In fact, I said Hobby Lobby today. Oh, it's like black and white heaven. There's so many pretty Christmas things out there in black and white. Thanks, Jody. Loves my color choices. Thanks, Miss Jody. I'm going to stir up my chalk paste. We have so many fun projects coming up this week. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm to the point of I need to stop because I want to make them all. And I might have to make two of them a night because I have so many cool ones I want to make. Now, I could stretch them into next week, right? And then I wouldn't have to worry about what am I going to make next week. But I've been having a little bit of fun. All right, so <laughs> totally digressing here again. Okay, what did I say I'm doing? Papaya and Storm. We're going to do Storm first. So I take my mini squeegee, angled side, dip it right in my chalk paste, and just slide it right across. So I scrape it across my silk screen, holding my squeegee straight up and down, covering up the entire silk screen, not leaving any lines or any blobs. Okay? The whole point is to truly squeegee or scrape your chalk paste. Take all this excess off. See how much excess I can get off? You're just wasting it to leave it on and it makes it more of a pain to wash. <laughs> Kara saying when she did her live the other day, she did three projects because she didn't want to stop. I know, there's just some days like that. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it off because we're gonna paste and peel our Bless This Day. So we have this, oh. Uh, okay, Storm is beautiful with these new frames. Like, I was gonna, I was gonna do camel. Because camel is almost the same exact color as the frame. But I'm really kind of digging the storm. Oh, we could do the whole thing as... Nope, we're going to use color. <laughs> we are. I promise. <sighs> Not going to, even though I want to, do the whole thing in storm. <laughs> I'm going to throw a little papaya in here. Just for fun. Because it's one of my favorite colors. It's my kitchen. My kitchen is papaya. Papaya in uh, kind of curry, if anybody remembers the curry color from last year. So it's kind of a mustard yellow. A little bit of green. And currant jam. Lots of currant jam. Oh, I was going to do the amp and stand in storm. Oh, well. It's curry. Or it's papaya now. I think that would have been look, that would have looked funny if we just done the amp and stand in storm. So again, I'm just scraping across, covering up my whole silk screen, taking all this extra chalk paste, putting it right back in my container, scraping all that excess off. Okay. Carefully removing. Storm is Lisa's fave too. I know, it's a great color. It's not so harsh. I'm carefully removing my transfer. I take this to stick it in my water bath. With the other transfer in there, I just need to make sure that my other transfer is down and wet because once your transfers are wet, they are no longer sticky. Okay, this is cute. I kind of like the two colors. I would not have done that normally, I'm but I'm trying to venture out. That's kind of cute with the two colors. Now, we could totally put a bow, right? A fun little bow in the right color. Oh, man, look at that. It's buffalo plaid. I didn't even plan that. Maybe it could be that most of the ribbon I own is buffalo plaid. But we can't do this yet because first we have to have Halloween, right? First we are going to have Halloween and then we're going to have Bless This Day with Grace and Gratitude. So first... No ribbon, or we could do a ribbon. Let me dry this before I stick my finger in it. 
you could do a ribbon on the other side. And then you just tie it in a bow so you can slide it on and off. We could do that. But I could add, the pumpkin is so pretty, I don't know if we want to add anything to it. It just takes a second for your chalk paste to dry. But yeah, this would be super cute on here, right? Even, I mean, we could even do it as a little bow. Ooh, acorns or leaves, yes. I want it to probably be more general home decor though. Because this is something I would, this is a sentiment I would leave out all year. Eh, maybe not. Yeah, I, I'm not really a big bow person. I've got some cool acorns or leaves though. But they're the right color. I've got some really cool wooden leaves I got this week. All right, so we have Bless This Day with Grace and Gratitude on one side and the Happy Halloween, which has a really bad glare for you guys. I don't know why. I, why I can't get rid of the glare. Maybe that way. If I hold it that way. And then we have the Happy Halloween with the gorgeous frame. Um, so the Makeup Monday bundle, you have your choice. You get the frame. But you have your choice as to whether or not you want one, just one transfer or if you want two. It's a better deal if you get two transfers. Um, it's still a deal, though, either way. But if you want a really good deal, do two transfers, and then you'll have your the double-sidedness. But that's what the, the bundle is in the Making Maria VIP Girl Ball. You're not a member? Oh, my gosh. How can you not be a member of the Making Maria VIP group? <laughs> you can come and add me. And I'll uh, send you the link, or you can simply go into your Facebook toolbar and type in Making Maria VIP Group, and it'll pop up, and you can request to join. It is a private group. We do all kinds of fun things in there. Um, people share pictures of their projects. We share specials and deals and bundles, and I share funny little things I find all over the place. Um, it's, it's a fun little... We're a fun group. We are. I think we're a very fun group. So if you are interested in the VIP group, you can come and add me and I'll send you the link. And that way you can see the bundles as well as um, enjoy what everybody else is making. If you are a designer, please do not request to join. Designers cannot be in each other's VIP groups. Um, if you're watching me on YouTube, thank you so much for watching me on YouTube. If you would like to subscribe or like my YouTube, like the video, subscribe to the channel. That would be fantastic. If you're watching the replay on Facebook, say hello. Welcome to the replay. We are a very friendly, very chit-chatty group. So come on back. I make a live video every night at 9 o'clock Central Standard Time. And I got to tell you, I can see the projects that we have coming up here this week. And we're going to make some fun things. So come back. We're going to make some really, really fun fall and uh, Halloween. I don't know. I think. We think we have one more Halloween, and then we have just have general fall. Yep, I think we've pretty much made. Yeah, we're never quite done with Halloween, because you can you can decorate for Halloween all the time. So this is our fun little project. Bless this day with grace and gratitude. Thank you so much for watching me. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. I very very much appreciate the fact that you guys come back every night at nine o'clock and talk to me and chat with me while I am creating. So thank you thank you thank you for sharing these moments of your life with me. I really really do appreciate it. If you're curious at all about what it means to be a chalk couture independent designer, you can comment curious or message me, and I'd be happy to share the information with you. Lots of people do all kinds of different things with being a designer. Some people simply make beautiful things and enjoy them. Some people make beautiful things and sell them. Some people do videos on Facebook and um, do uh, workshops and classes and virtual stuff. But it's truly up to you as to how you do it. You can simply enjoy the discount. So if you're curious at all, message me and I will be happy to send you that information. Whew. Oh, Club Couture. We did talk about Club Couture. This is this month's Club Couture transfer. We've made this one a few times already. Um, so if you're curious about the club, because again, as we showed you earlier, there's the one time op or the option this month to purchase previous Club Couture transfers as long as the supplies last. Um, this is a great deal. If there's been a previous club transfer that you really, really wanted, and you know, I'm telling you, it's worth it for this one. I just want to chalk pretty things. <laughs> I've got this like all over. <laughs> but I mean, seriously, who doesn't want to chalk pretty things? And then this was the other one I got because I love the camera.
collect moments, not things. And we we did some fun things with this camera where we did three cameras and we did family, family, friends, and memories. And then we put clips and we put pictures. If you're, it's an old, it's an oldie but a goodie. So there's some really, you know, like way back two-year-old transfers out there that are a great option for people. Um, so if you want to check that out and you're not familiar with the club, you can come and club and I'll send you that information as well. <sighs> Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you tomorrow night, 9 o'clock, Central Standard. See you guys. Have a great Wednesday that's going to feel like a Tuesday. See you guys.